Do you ever lay awake at night, staring at the ceiling and unable to fall asleep because your mind is too busy wondering what would actually happen if Sonic the Hedgehog were to run at his max speed on Earth? Because that's what my life has become. So I did what any sane and rational person would do. I dedicated dozens of hours to studying physics and reading scientific papers to figure out if video games had made this hedgehog too fast. Sonic might be known for running around at the speed of sound, but there's an ability in his games called the light speed dash. While measuring distance over time tells us that this is more like a very fast car dash, what would happen if Sonic was capable of instantly reaching light speed by performing a light speed dash at nearby rings? To understand what would actually happen here, we need to collect a few pieces of evidence. First, how fast is Sonic actually going? Nothing with mass can actually reach light speed for a variety of reasons, but that's exactly the speed that Sonic is supposed to be going. Trying to treat him as actually moving as fast as light would make a lot of the math we're going to be looking at stop working. So instead, I'm going to be limiting him to the maximum speed we've ever seen matter move at. A leisurely 99.9999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999
except nukes are normally limited by things like common sense and practicality. If you detonated the entire global nuclear arsenal every second of every day, non-stop, it would take over 3,100 years to be as destructive as Sonic moving at these speeds. That would be very bad if it were the end of the story. It's over 1% the energy required to completely undo the gravity keeping the Earth held together after all. But this isn't just Sonic setting off a massive bomb. This explosion is so absurdly powerful that it actually pushes other nearby atoms into each other with enough energy to cause them to undergo fusion and explode. When nuclear weapons were being developed, scientists were worried about the possibility of an explosion causing an endless chain reaction that would set the entire planet's air on fire. Luckily, they calculated that it was basically impossible for nukes to be powerful enough to cause that to happen. But Sonic's movement would be 10 million times more energetic than the threshold they calculated for causing this kind of chain reaction. He wouldn't just be setting the air on fire. Sonic would be causing every single atom in the entire planet to cascade into each other and explode with the force of a nuclear bomb. In less than a second since Sonic started moving, the Earth is no more. Let's consider what this looks like from Sonic's perspective. Based on his games, we know that he can endure all the forces that a speed would cause him to endure. So we'll assume that he somehow survives the insane g-force of his travel. He's also moving fast enough that he's not actually caught up in any of the explosions that he causes. Though realistically it would kind of turn him into atomic swiss cheese. But let's say that his super speed powers protect him from that. How does our little blue hedgehog react to the planet exploding? Well. Actually, he has no idea that it happened. You see, 99.999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999